Music is one of the many amazing experiences in this life. There's so many different ways to enjoy it and so many different genres to choose from. And that's what I want to talk about today. Genres. But not genres specifically. No, instead I want to portray a concept that I feel to be more and more present as time has gone on. The concept that is music artists being their own genres. But hang on a second, technically, music artists can't be genres. Genres are genres. But, but what is a genre? Well, not a music artist, that's for sure. A genre is a category of artistic composition characterized by similarities in form, style, or subject matter. This means that it's generalizing music on a broad scale based on style. These styles range from the more well-known ones such as country, pop, and screamo, which I hate, to the more obscure ones that I've never heard of before. Let's see how many genres there are. Oh. Uh oh, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of genres. 40 genres and 344 subgenres. Yes, I spent 10 minutes counting every single one of them, so you're welcome. But the problem with genres is that they are too generalized. Yeah, yeah, there's subgenres, but even then it doesn't fully grasp the music that some artists actually play. Here's an example. Arctic Monkeys, Rock Band. Gee. I would have never guessed. The subcategories are indie rock, garage rock, and post-punk revival. First of all, Arctic Monkeys is not any form of punk whatsoever, especially in their newest album. Second, garage rock. The only reason I would consider it garage rock is because there's a very distinct echo on the lead singer's voice. And indie rock is just too general. It, it, does, it doesn't explain anything. All of these genres don't truly convey the style of the band. Which brings up the concept of artists being their own and not conforming to a genre. <coughs> like country! <coughs> I'm saying that there's more and more bands that are becoming more and more difficult to fit into a specific genre. Bands like Gorillaz, Tally Hall, Rob Cantor, Kid the Band, and the most obvious one, Twin Wind Pilots, all have a very unique sound. Even Fall Out Boy's newest album, which I personally really liked, doesn't fit too well into the emo genre. But that's the thing, it used to fit into that genre. Some bands evolved in an attempt to be more creative, which in turn forms a different sound. Kinda like Paramore's After Laughter album. It's got a real beach vibe to it, the tone is happy while the lyrics are not so happy, and they use a lot of synths. Which is really weird, because in most of their albums, they're the stereotypical Green Day rock sound. You know who else uses synths? Gorillaz. And according to Google, Gorillaz can fit into six different genres. Actually, past ETH, that's five genres, not six. Learn to count, scroll. I also find it pretty humorous that Google literally just considers them a band. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a band. This virtual trip hop, art pop, alternative hip hop, alternative rock, electronica, experimental rock group needs its own genre. <laughs> I personally am very iffy with this band since it doesn't match my musical taste quite too well, however I can still acknowledge that it is a very complicated band sound wise. I'm not going to go too in depth due to other examples, but if you are interested in the masterpiece that is Gorillaz, Captain Kristen made a really good video on it that I will link at the end. I've noticed that especially in the indie space, music can start to become very experimental. <laughs> One such example is Kid the Band. They're very synth heavy, but they also like to combine it with guitar, always keeping a very weird and groovy vibe. Although being labeled in the alternative slash indie genre, it's got quite a unique sound. I've just never heard anything like it. Another one is Tally Hall. These Hanson boys cover everything from rock to rap to acoustic to acapella, even to folk music. In their first album, each song has its own specific flair, adding charm and also distinguishing it from the rest of the songs. Their second album, not, not so much, but it's still pretty good. I'll admit, it's pretty difficult to shove Tally Hall into a cookie cutter genre, and I think that's why I like them so much. The music goes in every direction you could possibly think of, plus more, but it fits really well. One of these boys in Tally Hall is Rob Cantor, who actually makes his own music. Apparently, he's labeled in the musical comedy category, which isn't very accurate because it only pertains to his one specific song, Shia LaBeouf. Yes, Rob is the one who actually created this song that attracted 55 million people, which is how I first found out about it. I mean, Technically, it was Zach who showed me the music video and his album. Basically, if it wasn't for Zach, I wouldn't know about Rob Cantor. Novelty song. What the flip is a novelty song? Comical song performed for its comedical effect. 
So basically just musical comedy. Alternative rock. Yeah, I, I could see that in some songs, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't you even consider Rob Cantor's album as the disgrace that is pop music. Rob's work is on the exact opposite of pop music. Pop music is all like, I broke up with my boyfriend. Rob Cantor literally wrote about a bike. What pop artist writes about bike? Okay, that's true. Not for <laughs> Too long. I apologize about that. Rob does classical, rock, acoustic, and to no surprise, synth. Every single song has some form of synth that glues everything together, but it makes it sound really nice. Lastly, the musical duo that has everybody on their edge of their seats waiting for a new album. 21 Pilots. I know for a fact there is so many videos and posts wondering what genre is 21 Pilots when in reality one of the reasons why I think they're so popular is because they aren't boxed into a genre. They're one of the bands that you can ask anyone, hey what's your favorite 21 Pilots song? And most likely they'll respond with Terry Mine. Due to how complex the music style is and the fact that 21 Pilots is the 160th most popular band in the entire world. And that's when they don't release an album. What's the spirit animal of 21 Pilots? Um, Ant Eater. I think ants. This is awkward. That's <laughs> when they do drop an album, they usually get to about number 11, which is insane. These guys take elements from electronic music, pop, and rock while also being active in singing, spoken word, rap, and screaming. They're pretty talented guys, I'm not gonna lie. In conclusion, some big artists are moving away from the set in stone genres. Indie music is a very experimental experience with so many amazing artists that definitely deserve more credit. And Number Blue needs to post a new video. If you agree, comment bring back blue in the comments below. I'll see you next week. If you're new, I post weekly videos, so if you're interested in that, please be sure to subscribe and press the bell to get notified when I post. Thanks to all of my beautiful patrons who support me on Patreon. The Master Wreath official Discord is in the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.